Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Sunday, the 24th day of April. Here we go. It's a little bit early to tell you this, but it is our last chance to say it until after the holiday of Pesach is over, so we better say it today. And that is, you know that um, Sunday is the last day that we can uh, do all of our malacha and everything. It's the last day of Chol HaMoed. And then we go into the two days of the final two days of Yom Tov. Now when Yom Tov ends, there are some things that you're going to need to know. First of all, um, there's this terribly erroneous thing that hopefully none of you think, and that is that some people think when they leave Shul on the last day of Pesach, like even if they went to Shul uh, Shabbos morning, so Pesach is kind of over. You just finished your davening and you can start eating your, your uh, non-Pesach food. And of course that's dead wrong. You, of course, have to wait until nightfall is over on the last day of Pesach before you can eat any uh, chametz or non-kosher for Pesach food. And also, this part is important to add, Probably a lot of you knew what I just said, but the additional point is that you also should not eat the second that Pesach is over, even um, when the night of the last day ends, and that's because the chametz that you stored in your house, that hopefully you sold through the rabbi to a non-Jew, well, it belonged to the non-Jew throughout the entire time of Pesach, and uh, the rabbi has to go right after Pesach and buy it back for everybody from that non-Jewish person. And then after it's bought back, then it's permissible to you. Well, you probably get where I'm going with this. The rabbi doesn't take care of that the first split second that Yom Tov is over. He's got to do some things and make a meeting with the non-Jew and buy back everything. And that could take him like an hour or something. And therefore, in most shoals in most cities, the rabbis all encourage people, don't dive back into your hummus and start eating those Cheerios that were stored away in your home two seconds after Pesach is over on the night after Pesach because your rabbi might not have bought them back for you yet. Okay, you get that. Now, um, while we're on that, you should note that all chametz that was not properly sold over the holiday of Pesach is called chametz she'avar alava Pesach, chametz that passed through a Pesach while it was owned by a Jew. And that kind of chametz the rabbis prohibited to be eaten by Jewish people. And therefore, you have to watch out for any chametz like that that was improperly sold or not sold at all, that was owned by a Jew. You're not allowed to buy it and eat it after Pesach even though you didn't own it, but if a Jewish person owned it. So if there's any Jewish store in your area that did not properly sell its chametz, you can't buy chametz from them for, well, as long as it takes until they get rid of all of their chametz that they, that they had during Pesach. That could take about two weeks till all the bread of Pesach that was in their store is off the shelves and new bread has come in. And you might want to check with the rabbis of your community about which stores it's safe to buy chametz from after Pesach. If you want to buy non-chametz foods, you're totally fine. But any Cheerios, bread, pretzels, and things like that that you want to buy from a store that might be Jewish owned and might not have properly sold their chametz, better check with the rabbi first before you go uh, buying and eating any of that chametz. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow after you for more. Bye-bye.